Justin Bushels here joining us from uh, Team Alpha Male. He's here with Teruto Ishihara this week at uh, UFC Fight Night Belfast. Uh, Justin, I just want to kind of get your perspective on Teruto. He's uh, quite a unique personality, I guess. How, how does he kind of fit into the TAM setup back in Okay. Uh, Teru, he fits in perfect. Uh, we got a bunch of crazy guys who love to fight, and he fits that mold exactly. You know, he's just Japanese, which makes him a little more strange to everybody. But uh, you know, he fits in perfect. And um, what's kind of his uh, training setup with you guys? Does he does he come across for camps or set weeks or is no, he full time? Teru has moved out full time. He's with us full time. He actually lives with Cody Garbrandt, and uh, they're a few blocks from the gym, so they're in there all day. God, that must be a, a hell of a place to live, Cody and uh, Teruta. I bet there's a few stories uh, there. For sure, that needs to be its own reality show. You know, I've been trying to pitch that, get that sold. Uh, you know, it'll be number one rated show, for sure. I mean, it's just hilarious all the time. It's it's a massive few months actually coming up for Team Alpha Male. Obviously, you got your, your rise, big fight in Sacramento. You got Paige headlining that card. Yeah. Cody's uh, title fight at the end of the year. It's uh, quite it, quite the end. Things must be really ramping up. Quite intense down there. Oh uh, yeah, it's insane. We also have Alex Sandoval, Josh Emmett on that card. Uh, you know, Josh Emmett was on the, the the they just got announced on the card. They gave him a promo code. He sold out the entire floor of the arena in under 12 hours. Just him, you know, and that's not including Faber, Paige, and Alex. So we're going in there in force. Uh, you know, hopefully all you guys get to come out for that fight. We're going to show you guys a good time and, you know, our stomping grounds. Uh, new arena. Um, you know, it's going to be an amazing time. And then, of course, we got uh, Cody fighting December 30th for the belt. So it'll be a good year, you know. My first year as coach, cap it off with a world title. Won't be bad. It, it, well, you must really be looking forward to that title fight at UFC 207. It's going to be a massive event. How, how's Cody at the moment? How's he kind of preparing that? Has he shown, I guess, any... It, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect him to, but any kind of qualms, I guess, from the fact that he's now, it's real, he's in a title fight. Man, this is something Cody's been wanting since he was a little kid, you know, and Cruz has been the guy that he's been focused on, so... You know, he, there's there's absolutely no nerves, no nothing going on, but just hard training. You know, we still have six weeks when I get back, and uh, he's going to take that title. Obviously, I know you guys got got his final fight to come with Brad Pickett at Sacramento. Have you guys had a discussion yet about what what's that setup going to kind of look like when he retires? Is he going to help you with the coaching perhaps there at town? Uh, Faber's more like a general manager of the team. Um, I'm still going to be doing all the coaching and and running everything, but. Uh, you know, it'll be interesting. He's never, you know, it's going to be a new thing for everybody. So we'll, uh, we'll, you know, it doesn't really seem real to to the team yet, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if he stays retired. You know, I don't know. Uh, how's he looking at the moment in the gym? Is he uh, is he slacking off for his last fight? I would imagine he's going hell for leather to really go out on a high note. No, you know, Uriah, that so slacking off is not something that he does ever. And this fight is very important. You know, it's his retirement fight, but very important. Hometown crowd. Tough guy, Brad Pickett, you know, friend of, the, friend of the team. We've known him since WC days, you know, uh, great opponent. So he's not slacking at all. He's going to be, he's going to go in there ready. What about Paige? How's she looking? Obviously a massive main event for her against uh, Michelle Watson. I imagine she's really going to come out, you know, looking for a big win and put herself in, maybe into that title mix. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, Paige's last fight, she fought uh, um, uh, Rowdy Beck on, you know, eight weeks notice from coming off Dancing with the Stars, and she's on that for over six months away from the gym, you know. Uh, so she, she's got that camp as well as this camp. She's going to come in looking better than ever, and uh, we're looking for a finish like, like every fight. Yeah, great stuff. And uh, last, well, how, how do you kind of see Cody getting the job done at UFC 207? Uh, we're going to go with the formula that's been working. We don't care who the opponent is, that first round knockout, you know. Go home early, get it done. If not, if that doesn't happen, we got plenty of ways to win this fight. I mean, I've been cornered against Cruz for the last 10 years, man. I think I got like 17 rounds or 23 rounds now with Faber's last fight against Cruz in the corner, against Eric Del Firo. And, uh, you know, I've never really been in charge before. I've always been just a training partner. This time I'm going against him as head coach and uh, Cody's going to get the job done. And what do you kind of make of Dominic Cruz? He seems to have a lot to say about Team Alpha Male. He's, he's never short of a word or two. Do you find that kind of disrespectful now? No, absolutely not. I mean, we dish it out probably better. We probably we probably talked more shit than he ever has. You know, he's a he's a respectful guy, and he, you know, uh, one of the legends of the sport. You know, I got a lot of respect for him and his team. But you know, it ends it ends here. I mean, he he's the old lion, and, and he's he's slowed down a little bit. You know, and uh, he's preparing he's preparing for his his next step in life, which is going to be a great commentator, uh, you know, fight analyst. But and, and Cody's only got one goal to take him out. So. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be good for him. But 
he'll be getting he'll make more money fighting Cody than he's ever made in his career. So it'll be all right. And I guess the I guess the other guy in the equation is obviously TJ as well. It'd be interesting to get uh, how how do you get on with TJ these days? Is he a guy you talk to, or is or is that relationship just kind of ended? I mean, the relationship's never really going to end. But I'm Cody's coach, you know. Uh, TJ is no longer on my team. If you want to talk about business, like he originally moved to Muscle Farm uh, and moved away from the team on a business decision. Well, on a business decision, you know, I got Cody's back on this, and uh, that looks like the next fight. Like it looks like. Uh, Cody beats Cruz, gets the belt. It looks like TJ's next, so that fight's going to happen, and, and you know it'll be interesting. And also, well, obviously, you are here with Teresa this weekend. How, how do you see him getting the job done against Dalton? Man, first round knockout. We go with the system that works. You know, this whole year, everyone's been getting knocked out in the first round by our guys, and uh, we'll stick with that. If they if, if the opponent can last longer than that, then they got other stuff to deal with as well. They got wrestling to deal with. They have a kicking game to deal with. They have aggressive team alpha male attack style, and that doesn't end for 15 minutes or 25 minutes. So if they can last, you know, there'll just be a, a number of different ways our guys can take them out. But Taru, man. His left hand is, is something really special, and, and everyone knows it's coming, but can they stop it? I mean, so you can say the th same thing about McGregor. The left hand's coming. Can you stop it? Well, I'd like to see him try, you know? And uh, will you be joining him, I guess, at his Tinder party afterwards that he's just telling me about? Me? No, no. I, I'm, uh, of course I will. Of course I will. <laughs> Great stuff, Justin. Thanks for your time, man.